Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Sorry for the random intro, I believe. Let me turn the engine off actually. Engine off. We have just parked at John Lewis in Bristol, Cribs Causeway, because today we are doing a little bit of baby shopping. So we're gonna be looking around. I probably won't buy anything because I like to like look everywhere before I buy anything and have a think about it. I'm not a, what's the word, Claire? Impulse um, buyer. Yeah. I'm not an impulse buyer. I think a lot about what I buy and what I want. And this is my third time baby shopping. So I feel like I've got a little bit more of an experienced head now. Because when I first had my firstborn, I didn't even know you could come to John Lewis and look at stuff. I had no idea where you did baby shopping. So I love John Lewis. And we're going to go to Baby Zara here. Mother Top care. shop. Mother, Mother care. care. But we're going to do that after because yeah. that's where my scan is and we're also having a scan today to confirm the twins gender <laughs> because they were 99% sure it was two girls but they couldn't be a hundred percent so we're gonna go today and find that one out um there is a mamas and papas over the road oh, okay if we have time if not we'll have to come back and do it again yeah. i would love to go to mamas and papas i haven't been there yet since being pregnant but i don't know if we'll have time but we'll see maybe if i stopped gabbing we may have time but obviously i'm with my bff claire hey guys and it's very rare for us we have no children baby free day baby free day i'm well, looking forward to this. i say day um morning because we'll be home like not too late obviously yeah. and when jordan says that like for me i think a day is like you know if you like got out most of the day but when he said when he said he's going to motocross the other day he was going to be home at like three i was like, oh nice day to yourself like making a joke his day so that's just the morning so now i use that i'm like I'm only, I'm only popping out for the morning dear <laughs> but yeah let's go and see what john lewis have so we started walking to john lewis and it was actually shut so we're not going there first we're going to go to top shop first because claire's got something to exchange we love this dress new season we've got a baby shower to go to on the weekend £35, that's but we thought we're only going to get something if we can wear it all season there's no point in getting a nice summer dress in august because you only wear it for a few weeks <laughs> absolutely love these shorts in top shop how nice are they to go with that top unfortunately i won't be able to wear that this season <laughs> but it's a look i love I've seen these jumpers on the Topshop website. They are £29. They have it in grey and cream. And they are lovely. Here we are just crushing over the Topshop loungewear. Lovely. <laughs> so nice. So we've just been to Baby Gap to get Emily her baby shower presents. And we chose some lovely, lovely bits. I stupidly thought it was Baby Zara, but it was not. It's a Baby Gap, but still lovely stuff and we got her like a coordinated outfit didn't we well yeah. i got her a whole outfit and then claire got us something that can still go with the outfit so yeah. we can mix it up a bit yeah in the same color scheme the same color scheme so i'm obviously not going to show that in case it ruins emily's surprise and now we're just heading to john lewis so we are in john lewis and we found a cute little baby girl outfit oh and claire had to pick that up as well <laughs> i'm looking for like a coming home like hospital outfit Lovely. haven't haven't quite found one yet and we love that as well it's like a set 18 pounds and 19 pounds so a little bit more pricey than john lewis but we both agreed for like a hospital outfit we would buy it for that we wouldn't buy loads but just like the odd thing here is all the bugaboos this is what i had for jensen and jesse a chameleon this is a fox but similar and a bugaboo i've actually never seen before or heard about the bugaboo ant maybe it's like the bee because the bee's next to it but it's called the ant. I guess that's for the toddlers, really. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess it's for toddlers, but I'm not sure what like the selling point of it is, but it looks very compact. Lightweight as well. Lightweight, yeah. I mean, it's cute. We both like the look of it, don't we? Yeah, I love that. I'm also gonna need a buggy board for Jessie, <laughs> so that is perfect if I got a bugaboo. I'm not sure what I'm getting yet. So here is the Bugaboo Donkey, and this is one of my choices for a twin pram. So this is actually one of my first times even looking at prams. And I do love the Bugaboo Donkey, not in this colorway. Um, with Bugaboos, luckily you can choose whatever color you like, basically. So we're just looking at changing bags in John Lewis, and the one 
that sticks out to me is this one. I've never heard of the brand, Skip and Hop. It's like a rose pink and it looks massive. <laughs> um, I think that must be what it attaches onto the pram with. There are loads and loads. How much is that one, Claire? The black store sack one, because that's quite nice as well. I like the pattern on it. Where's the price? We can't find the price. So that changing bag is 99. And we don't know how much the store sack one is, but I'm assuming around 100 pounds. The all important baby gates, which I will definitely need. Then here are the baby carriers, and Claire just said, are you gonna get one? And I don't know, I had one with Jessie and Jensen, like one very similar to that, but in a gray, and I absolutely loved it, but I don't know how, obviously you can't carry two babies at the same time. That's quite cool. Yeah, yeah. I do have one of those already, like a backpack carrier, but again, just for one. And then that's really cute. Oh, I love that So one. maybe, I don't know, I've still got my carrier I had for the boys, my sister borrowed it. I don't know. I don't know on baby carriers. Any twin mums? Any baby carriers you recommend? So we're looking at the bedside cribs and I love the snuzz pods. They rock so lovely. They come in some lovely colourways. So my favourite colourway is the white and the grey. Then they have the snuzz cloud as well that goes in. Never had those with the boys. With the boys I had the Chico next to me but the older version me and claire were just discussing <laughs> and we both had the older version that didn't rock and i think one that rocks will be so handy and it has storage underneath and again this which you can possibly um like hang a little bag off with nappies and stuff in the sleepy head of course i definitely definitely want two of those you can get such cute covers these days like all of those patterns they do the cutest floral one for girls which is the one i love Sophie the giraffe this was Jensen's first ever toy and then we had that one as well they are brilliant and I already have one of those ready to go so I just need another one but me and both me and Claire both agreed we absolutely rate the Sophie giraffes like they seem to be the first thing that the babies just love like teethers they're brilliant and here is the most revolutionary breast pump ever <laughs> The Alvi breast pump, it looks brilliant, but I feel like I'm gonna need a double one. I so wish I had that when I was breastfeeding. Oh my God, I bet you do, Claire. Claire breastfed. How long did you breastfeed for, Claire? So it was 13 months, so just recently stopped. And you never had anything, did you? No. You just, but yeah, for I work, just... how amazing would that have been? I would have carried on Because Claire went back to yeah, work. Yeah, I went back to work. Yeah. We did it for a couple of months, but then he just, when he got mobile, he kind of gave up. He yeah. He wanted it, so I didn't, I didn't force him. He wanted to stop, but. If I known about that then, I would, try, I would have bought one. Yeah. Going now still. Yeah. Because. Yeah, because then he but could have just drank your milks now, couldn't he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah in his I, beaker. He, yeah, he's very fussy with. Oh well, he doesn't yeah. Doesn't have blue milk. You have green. Right. Okay. It's not as thick. Right. But yeah, I wish yeah. I knew about that. Because you could have given that to him now, couldn't you? Yeah. Like every morning, just had a pump. Yeah. Just go to work. Yeah. To yeah. So Claire is a pro breastfeeding I expert. I did exclusively yeah. when he wanted that he had it. <laughs> she is a pro breastfeeding expert. So we've come to Nando's for lunch, which is BFF's favourite place to come. By the way, I did my nails last night on, um, I've got a gel nail kit, I bought one. So I'll leave it linked below if anyone's interested, because I love getting my nails done, but I never have time, me and Claire were talking about it in the car, like I genuinely never have time. And I saw someone put on Instagram a home gel nail kit, and I absolutely love it. It's like amazing so far. So I feel like I've had my nails done properly when I've just, when I've just done it at home myself. And I bought it myself, but when they saw that I tagged them on Instagram, they gave me a discount code. So the discount code is Lucy Carter 10 which I'll leave in the description box. So if you are interested, you like having your nails done, but don't have time to get your nails done, then head over and check them out. So we're in Nando's. Me and Claire have ordered a platter a whole chicken to share and then after we eat this it is a bit early but we have to eat it now because my scan's at 1 30. so we're eating now then we're going to head over to mama's and papa's we should have time for that shouldn't we and then mother care where my scan is our feast has arrived what a treat so we're just getting to mama's and papa's and claire has fallen in love with a little setup they've got going on this is the franklin nursery set and both me and Claire have agreed, it is absolutely gorgeous. Really lovely grey. And look at that, Claire, that baby oh, mat. That, that is so nice, isn't it? Love that. 
Then you've got a little shelf that goes lovely. And then a wardrobe. Oh wow. Beautiful. That is so cute. Then here is a Moses basket. Yeah, as Claire said, it doesn't last very long. Um, none of mine ever slept in Moses baskets. So no. I don't know about you, Claire. Yeah, but never went in one. No. Here are the dream sheeps. Claire has told me she's heard they're really good. Oh my God, those towels. Oh my God. Oh my God, I they are that. so cute, cute aren't they? 19, 19 pounds. pounds, that's not too bad. No, they are totally gorgeous, yeah. totally gorgeous. That. And that, what is that, Claire? That's a towel, again. Yeah. And then here you have the healthcare kit. They're quite good as well, thermometers and all that kind of stuff. This is good. We have found the cutest baby changing mat. It's like the perfect rose pink. It's like a real muted pink. That is totally gorgeous. I know where to come. 46. 46 pounds. Yeah, not too bad. I know where to come for my changing mat because that is stunning. That's nice as well, Claire. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. yeah. Put the heads on there. Yeah, that is lovely. But that colour is like gorgeous. I've never seen a colour like that. I know, it's amazing. They have another little furniture set that Claire's fallen in love with. <laughs> Very cute. Oh, and look, Claire, then you get one of these and you put the changing mat on top. Oh, wow. Right. Then yeah. when they're older, you can take it all off and yeah. put your own bits there. Yeah. We absolutely love these, but me and Claire just had a laugh. She was like, yep, you're going to have two of those in your lounge. I was like, yeah, I know. Maybe, though, I thought they could share. Two babies can fit yeah, on there. Yeah, might fit. There is now a little next baby section in the mums and papas, and me and Claire are just in love with this section. Like, look at those leggings. They are so cute. And look at that. Oh my god, we love it. Oh, the dress, the dungaree set. Oh look, I've seen that online, this little velour outfit. I thought it was really cute online. First size. That's lovely, isn't it, Claire? Look. Oh, yeah. £10, so not too bad either. So we've now just got to Mothercare in Bristol, where we're going to have my scan. So I'm not going to film the scan, but I will include pictures, of course after the scan because they send them to your phone actually so when i get home actually i will check in with you again but i'm firstly going to have a look around mothercare in bristol and see what little pieces they have in there first thing we spotted in mothercare is this gorgeous baby bag it's a lovely like muted pink and it's 65 pounds i really like that actually because it's got a really you big pocket there. there one bottle there yeah what's it like inside it's got your changing mat there and then inside again loads more compartments I think I might have found my baby bag there. Yeah, it's a really good quality material. So there is a brand baby mail. So it's now the day after my scan and baby shopping. I got home and just was overwhelmingly tired. I am really hoping that these kick in soon. These are my iron tablets. So I've got low iron and I've been prescribed iron tablets. At least I'm not being sick. I'd rather have low iron than be sick. So I'm not complaining, but I just feel very tired and low on energy a lot of the time. What are you doing, Jordan? What? What are you doing? Having more food. More food? Mm -hmm. Jordan's been at work, but he's just got home and he's eaten. It's raining eaten. now, so we can't do nothing because it's just... How much have you eaten? It's like your fifth meal. No. Yeah, he keeps having like, look, a bagel, then he'll have another bagel, then he'll have some I have five bagels, so 135 calories each, it's not too bad. Anyway, I digress. So that's why I didn't come on straight away. But scan was all fine. I will insert some pictures in somewhere. They're not the best pictures though, so yeah. <laughs> I have another scan next week. Then another scan booked in for September. And those are NHS scans. So I have my 20-week scan next week. Um, but it's at 8am in the morning, so Jordan's not coming with me, are you? I have to be the boys, aren't I? Yeah, because... If, if Jordan was to come, we'd have to leave Is and wake the boys up at half six. Something like that. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's just one of those things, isn't it? It doesn't yeah. matter. I don't mind going on my own. So, baby shopping, I didn't get anything. The only things I did get was a few little bits in Asda, George. School uniform bits, pants, pyjamas. Like, nothing, nothing too exciting. But big items. I just wanted to look around. I'm undecided on it all. Uh, I'm undecided on the nursery. I feel like we have so much to do in the house until... Oh, what, did the plasterer friend reply, Jordan? Mm -hmm. We're having our walls plastered. Where we have the textured paint, it needs plastering. 
which is interesting so recommendation don't use textured paint <laughs> if you're not a plasterer because it's interesting to remove because you want to redecorate and yeah we have to replaster the walls so luckily Jordan knows someone a friend that will come and do it but yeah lots of house updates going on that are half finished well not even half finished a quarter finished so I'm eager for that to be done very eager but next week next week Jordan your goal is to get your paint on he's gone so he didn't hear me but yeah a lot a lot to do feel a bit overwhelmed by it all really but I'm sure I'll be fine I just once the house is done like you know up to the way we want it then I'll be happy then we can start on the nursery but I've got no idea how I'm gonna do the nursery yet either so that'll be a work in progress but at least I'm not being sick anymore so I'm very very thankful for that I feel like this is half a pregnancy update I need to do another pregnancy update video I shall do that next week but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon